How's it going everybody? Illusion Dev here bringing you another video on how to set up a server. Uh, today's video is going to be the aisle. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want to open up Firefox and we're going to go to Google. We're going to look up Steam CMD if you don't already have it. We're going to click on this first link here. We're going to click on Windows. And we're going to click on this number one pad here. All right, then let's go ahead and open up that folder where it's located in the downloads. We're going to right click on it. And I'm going to extract it. Okay. All right, now we're, uh, we're going to cut that. I'm going to go over to the C drive here. I'm going to create a new folder called servers. Hit enter. Then I'm going to paste the CMD in there. I'm going to create another new folder and we'll call it the aisle. And I'm going to go into the Steam CMD folder and open up the actual Steam CD program itself. So let's go ahead and open up and run that. Now that, that is done, we're going to go back to servers, go to the aisle. We're going to click up here. We're just going to copy that. And then in here, we're going to do force underscore install underscore dir space that could draw V to paste um, that path in there. Then we're going to do login anonymous. All right, now that we're logged in, we're going to need to do the app ID, which I have right here. So we're going to do app underscore update. I'm going to paste in the app ID, which is 412680 space validate. Then hit enter. And we're going to let that do its thing. All right. Now that that is complete, we can go ahead and exit this by just typing in exit. And here's our game. So uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the aisle. Actually, it's not even in here yet. I forgot. First thing, I'm going to right click on this. We're going to do more options and we want to create a shortcut. Then we're going to right click on the shortcut and hit properties. Then after this, under target, pull up my notes here. And we're going to run this right here which this I will have in the description for you guys. So you don't actually have to uh, try to copy this down right now. Actually, I don't know why there's a mod in here. We were the mod. Don't need that. Copy it. We're going to paste it in there. Make sure everything is good to go. All right, then we're going to hit apply, hit OK. And then uh, we can move that to our desktop if we want. All right, so we're going to go ahead and run it for the first time here real quick because we need to get uh, uh, DirectX. We're going to hit yes on that. Hit I agree. Hit install. Hit yes. Close and that's also going to give us. We're going to hit allow access on this as well, and uh, that's going to give us the um, files that we need here. So, in the aisle, saved config Windows Server game user settings at I and I. We're going to right click on that and show more options. We're going to hit edit because down here in my other notes, I have the config files already set up for me here. Copy that over, paste it in there, and then hit Control S to save it. We can close that out now. We can close this out now as well. All right, so now that that config is in there, we can go ahead and turn back on the server with the settings, the update script. So we're going to right click on here. We're going to go to new text file. We'll just name it to uh, update server. And I need to go to view, show, uh, 
file name extensions. We're going to change this from a txt to a bat. We're going to hit yes. We're going to right click on it, show more, edit, and then my update script is right here. Which this will also be down in the description. All this stuff will be down in the description, by the way, guys. So you can just copy and paste your own, change the settings, do whatever you need to do. Anyway, we'll paste that in there and then save it. All right. So once it says this match state change from waiting to start to in progress, once you see that, that means the server is up and ready to go. You can go ahead and launch the game and log into it. Um, and just search for whatever name uh, you gave it. And that's it. Okay, so uh, when I first recorded this, I uh, I totally forgot to uh, do the ports for you guys. So in order to do the ports, pretty easy. You're just gonna wanna open up your firewall. And we're gonna wanna do the event security settings here. We're gonna go to inbound rules. New rule. I'm going to do port. Hit next. TCP. We're going to do 7777 through 7778. We're going to copy that. We're going to hit next. Allow. Leave all this stuff as default. We'll call it uh, the IO TCP. Hit finish. Do the same thing again, but we're going to click UDP this time, paste the ports in, leave all that stuff as default. We'll call it the IL UDP. And then we need one more port to do. And this one's going to be 27015. Next, leave all that stuff as default. And do it one more time for the UDP. And that's it. That's it for the firewall. Um, now you'll have to go into your router as well and pour forward those, those same exact ports to your router. So you can allow outside connections so other people can connect to the server with you. That's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one.